what's up guys this is gonna be a quick live um the reason i had to jump on here real quick first of all couldn't get the documents myself but just hasn't posted and then east idaho news they have these documents that i haven't read on james brenner that i wanted to read about him that's more like in depth i didn't even i didn't know when they posted those and then uh just True Crime would just put the documents on. So I'm going to read you the the James Brenner stuff. But the main reason I came on here, she posted a picture of Jay the real James Brenner, you guys. So I don't think it, the helicopter guy is the James Brenner. I just wanted your guys' opinion. So she posted one here. I'm going to share it with you. It's from the back. You can barely see him. I mean, you could see him from the side in the back. But looking at him, I need your help to tell me if you think that a mug shot we have is him i could almost definitely say the helicopter guy isn't the guy that that we saw in the helicopter video let me show you let me know i need your opinion because i was going to do a recorded video but because after i saw this picture i'm like i need to go live because i need to ask everybody what they think because i just want to know like who he is like, what is, like is he this guy okay let me get the picture up and then we'll read the documents but i just want to share this picture first because uh, I hate having like wrong information. So if I put that up earlier and then it's not him, the picture, then people are going to be like, that's Jim. And then, all right, uh, let me share, share. Okay. So this is compliments of that true crime with Jess just posted it probably like 10, 20 minutes ago, maybe not that long ago. I commented back. I'm like, do you think to see what she thinks? Like if she knows him, like no, has other pictures where she knows where he looks like him. Is the guy that, that I put up? Is it, is that him? Okay, here we go, guys. This is what she posted. So I don't know. I mean, is she, she's probably right. She does seem to have like inside information as far as like knowing local people. So I don't know, but this is the person right here that she said is James Brenner. To me, that doesn't look like either of the guys I posted. There's a small chance it could be that mugshot, but I don't even think it looks like the mugshot. This guy looks like older and a little bit frailer. Definitely not the guy in the helicopter video. So if Jess is right, then just disregard that last part of the lie, okay? I just wanted to make sure that, I don't know why I'm laughing, but like it was driving me nuts when I saw this and I'm like, oh my God, I just showed that picture. It was probably not him. I have to clear this up. So no way, right? Thank you. Okay. So I guess, I guess it's not unless if for some reason she's wrong, but I think Jess is got some reliable. I think she's reliable because she's like knows the, some local people. She must have some kind of connection and stuff. So wait, are you guys saying, oh, no way that you don't believe that that's Jim? This one is, or that you're agreeing that that's not him from the, um, <laughs> the guy so i had to clear that up guys this is the quickest way to do it i laughed i mean not laughing i'm like oh my god that doesn't look anything like the helicopter guy i could possibly see it a small chance that it could be the screenshot here let me show you the screenshot guy or the mugshot guy but i don't even think yeah it's i don't know this guy's too his face is way too like he's like too you know heavy to be him but i'll show you the the what i had up originally one more time and then we'll go over the documents yeah, the court was already closed, so I couldn't uh, call and request it. So I'm going to call tomorrow. And, and by, by, by tomorrow, it's probably going to be up on my site. Plus, it's probably going to um, be all over the news anyway. So, But it was too late by the time I got done here. Okay. So this is the, <laughs> the people we thought. And then as you can see, hold on, let me get the other one up. So as long as Jess has the correct guy that I could almost call safely say that neither of these are probably him definitely not hold on let me put the other guy up there we go okay let me get him side by side like i had the other one hold on one second okay so this there we go okay we'll do it like this so definitely not him i mean i can almost definitely say that's that's not him even though yeah, the face is just too thin. Um, and then I guess possibly this could be him, but I don't think. This guy looks heavier by his face. I mean, there's a small chance, but what would you say? Probably not, right? This and this. Let me see. Yeah, I don't either. Okay, so I just want to clear that up. Now, um, I don't know about Chase. 
what um Gloria Dellen said is she has court um when is it Friday and she thinks it's just gonna be the same kind of wordage as which what we'll read is that they're just suspects they're not they haven't been charged yet they're just suspects you know they probably don't want to charge them until they get a some more solid case yeah I, the face is really throwing me off I wish we could get a head on picture okay so that was the first thing I wanted to do real quick and the second thing I want to do is just read the documents so like I said uh source the true crime with Jess if you guys want to check it out she's got it posted but I'll read them here for you and then I'll read the the five page thing that uh, East Idaho News put out um so there it'll be it'll go quick quick live guys like I said, I was going to do a recording until I saw that picture. I'm like, wait a minute. I want to <laughs> hurry up and get this out because we I just made a big deal about that picture. I played the video and everything. Okay. So here is, let me share this, the documents. Um, oh, is the volume down? Really? You can't hear? Huh. I you it has, let me make sure. Hold on. Let me see something. I think I usually had it up at a hundred. Maybe my speaker got turned down. Let me see. Wait, just give me one minute then. If microphone. No wait, where's the one where it shows? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, it's at a hundred. Really? Is it it's low? I don't know. No, I have it up as much as I can go. So let's just read this real quick, guys, and then I'll let you enjoy your evening. Okay. So we have in the United States District Court, District of Utah, the United States of America, plaintiff James Brenner. James Brenner, the defendant. The United States is not seeking detention. The United States moves forward for detention based on current information. The United States position in this preliminary pleading could change after reviewing the pretrial report or learning of additional evidence. The United States reserves the right to assert positions, even if the boxes next to those positions are not checked below. Raise additional arguments and file additional pleadings in support of detention. The United States motion for detention is. And as far as people talking about the chase, it's probably the same thing as what the James was, just like Laura Dallin said, where he's going to be named a suspect, just so everybody could kind of calm down and chat. If, if that's what you guys are talking about, I'm sure that's what it is, If because maybe they already did it with Chase, too. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I was busy looking into James. Okay. So that's that one. Let's go to page two. Um, so controlled substance, any felony, if the defendant has convicted of two or more, but the one that's uh, X is here. Any felony that is not otherwise crime of violence, but involves a minor victim, the possession of use or use of firearm or destructive device. So, you know, this is the firearms. Um, charge oh wait i'm not hold on sorry i thought i was sharing it i apologize shoot screwed up <laughs> um okay so i'm not gonna probably read it all because we already learned about the firearms but the well let's see the procedure the defendant may seek continuance of the detention hearing of up to five days in the united states may seek continuance of up to three days during any such continuance the defendant shall be detained the rules concerning the admissibility of evidence do not apply at the detention hearing. The United States has the burden of persuasion by clear and convincing evidence that no condition or combination of conditions of release will reasonably the safety of any other person in the community or by the preponderance of evidence that no condition or combination of conditions will of release will reasonably assure the defendant's appearance. So remember how Glory Dellen was in this hearing and she said they, um, you know, his lawyers are trying to get him on out on bond. Well, they don't want to let him out on bond. And I think one of their tactics is showing how he's a suspect in a freaking disappearance case, you know, for one of their arguments of don't give him like a bond or a bail amount or whatever. I'm probably using the wrong term. Somebody will correct me. <laughs> okay. Let's read the rest here. So let's, we could skip all these. None of them are checked. So let's go to this one. So she has it already marked off. The nature and circumstances of the offense charged include whether the offense is a crime of violence, a violation of Section 1591, a federal crime of terrorism, or involves a minor victim or a controlled substance, firearm, or destructive device. The defendant was squatting on property belonging to SH and RI. Um, 
that is adjacent to DR, so DR is the Dylan Rounds, was reporting missing was reporting missing on May 30th, 2022, and his whereabouts are unknown. The defendant is known to have had contact with Dylan Rounds and is a suspect in Dylan Rounds' disappearance. So just like I said, it is just a suspect. No charges have been made, but it's interesting that they finally, I mean, they're putting it in the document, you know. A search warrant was executed. A search warrant was executed on the defendant's trailer, revealing black powder, firearms, equipment. DH was interviewed. That's the Don Hill or Don Hall was interviewed by FBI and admitted that the defendant asked him to hold black powder firearms in a 22 caliber Winchester rifle. The defendant hand delivered the rifles to. Wait a minute. I didn't realize that person was him. This whole time I'm like. I want to find out more about Don Hall or Hill or whatever. I keep getting alternate. Some people say Hill. Some people say Hall. Why didn't I realize that's the person he was bringing the firearms to? Huh. The defendant hand delivered the rifles to DH and asked him to hold them for him. Huh. Well, I learned another new thing today I didn't realize with this case. Um, okay. So the history and characteristics of the defendant, including the defendant's character, physical and mental condition, family ties, employment, financial resources, length of residence in the community community ties, past conduct, history relating to drug or alcohol abuse, criminal history, and record concerning court proceedings. The defendant has a significant criminal history, including malicious wounding, malicious shooting, and three convictions for felon in possession of a firearm. The defendant was previously residing in Illinois, where his convictions rest. The defendant was, has no work history and is currently unemployed and has no verifiable residence. The defendant was trespassing and squatting on the property. So there we go. We have it, you know, in words that they do. They are calling it squatting. Um, wait, I'm missing a page. No. Yeah, I guess that is. And this is five. Let's see what's checked off. We have the nature and seriousness of danger to any person or the community that would be posed by the defendant's release. So they're trying to argue, you know, why he should not be re released. How the defendant's proposed residence, employment, or proposed treatment programs have not been verified. So the victim in this matter seeks a no contact order. The, this matter does not involve a victim requiring notification. So now that's, so yeah, that's, that's where, that's what it is so far. So Friday, they're going to go in for what she said, the preliminary hearing for this, the firearms. So they haven't charged yet. Like I said, I'm sure they're building the case. Um, so Hold on, let me see something. Just wanted to read this again. Yeah, the defendant was trespassing and squatting on the property. Okay, so that's that. And then I want to read you just the East Idaho News document that they got about James. And then let y'all go enjoy your day. Um, New missing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I, I like saying your name, even though I'm not saying it right. Hey, Hope Rains. Hey, Soul for Music. Boomacot. Boomacat. Bammy. All right. So let's bring up this other page. First page. All right. One second, though. Let me do something really quick before I start that. Now, remember, this one isn't new that I'm reading, but I haven't read it to you guys yet. And I haven't read it. It's uh, from last week. But I figured, you know, it's about James. So let's read it. It kind of gives a more uh, better description of. But the one I just read is new. That came out today. That hearing was, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yesterday is when Gloria Dellen went to it. And then this is the new stuff that happened where they named him the suspect was today. And then she said she's going to go Friday for... Uh, chases and Jim, Jim's uh preliminary stuff, and then Chase. Maybe they'll name him a suspect too tomorrow or Friday. Sorry, I keep saying tomorrow because she said tomorrow on accident. Okay, so share. Yeah, just stream. All right. Okay, so this is. United States versus James Brenner, count one, felon of a possession, felony in possession of a firearm. Let's see what you guys are chatting about. Hey, Brianna. Hey, Marty. You guys, I did a, a live earlier, too, if you want to check it out. Um, we went through the two Kurt Wadsworth interviews. 
I got to put my those sources in there too. I got to remember remind myself. Okay, so James Brenner, defendant here and knowing had been convicted of a crime punishable punishable by a term of imprisonment exceeding one year, did knowingly possess a fire, firearm to wit a 22 caliber Winchester rifle, and the firearm was in the affecting commerce, all in violation of 18. Oh. Hold on. U.S. whatever. <laughs> um, okay. Complainant Jeremy Folk been duly sworn. Okay, so here we go. Affidavit. Your affiant is a special agent with the FBI of investigation currently assigned to the Violent Cr Crimes Task Force in Salt Lake City. I'm going to skip through this. Okay, so May 30th, 2022, Box Elder County Dispatch received a call of a missing 19-year-old, male initials, Dylan Rounds. He was last seen in Lucent, Utah area. On this day, Dylan Rounds contacted their relative by phone and told them that he was putting a grain truck into shelter. The shelter for the grain truck was reported to be on a parcel of land owned by Box Elder Land and Livestock owner initials, J.C., and is adjacent to two other parcels that are owned by SH and RI. These parcels are open to each other collectively and used together. The subject in this case, an adult male named James Brenner, has no ownership in the land parcels I mentioned above and is squatting in the trailer. Actually, this is, I have read this before. Now that I'm reading it, I read this like when it first came out. But I didn't, it wasn't from East Idaho News. I feel like I got it when I, that's the same thing I got. Well, let me just finish it since I started it. I don't know why I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking it was new, but let's just read it. Or not new, but I didn't think I read it. Okay, so. Subject in this case, an adult named James Brenner has no relationship in the land parcels mentioned above and is squatting in a trailer located on the land. The missing 19-year-old male, Dylan Rounds' property, is a five-mile walk towards the southeast of where Brenner was currently living. Brenner and another Lucent resident, D.H., which is that Don Hill or Hall. I keep still keep getting different answers, so if anybody wants to email me and confirm what the last name is, I don't know. They were considered family friends of Dylan Rounds and his family. In searching for the missing 19-year-old male, Brenner was interviewed by BECSO on June 7, 2022. DH was also subsequently interviewed by law enforcement on or about June 11, 2022. Box Elder County and their search for missing 19-year-old male Dylan Rounds requested assistance from the FBI in the Davis County Sheriff's Office. On June 16, 2022, BECSO, with the assistance of the FBI, excused executed a search warrant at the trailer where Brenner was living. During that search, ball ammunition, ignition caps, black powder, and speed loads, all related to muzzle loading, were located and photographed in the trailer. But the items were not seized at this time by BECSO. There were no muzzle loader firearms located in the trailer at the time. On June 20th, 2022, a friend and neighbor of Brenner, DH, was interviewed by BECSO and the FBI during that interview. D.H. advised that after Dylan Rounds went missing and sometime after Brenner's initial June 7th, 2022 interview with BECSO, um, Brenner brought back, Brenner brought three black powder guns over to D.H.'s residence and asked him to safe keep them. When D.H. asked why, Brenner stated that he needed to do this for his own safety and that the last time he had trouble with the law, they took everything from him and he did not want the things he had left to be taken again. D.H. agreed to store the muzzle loaders for him at the time of the interview. D.H. Um, turned over the three muzzle loaders to the BECSO, who booked them into evidence. On June 21st, 2022, D.H. was again interviewed by the FBI. During this interview, D.H. advised that Brenner had also brought him a 22 caliber rifle around the same time he had brought over the muzzle loaders. D.H. told us that he didn't mention the 22 when interviewed before because he had been owed money by oh so I need to give four okay by whatever to be taken DH agreed to store the muzzle loaders for him at the time wait the interview DH turned over the three muzzle loaders who booked them into evidence at the time of the interview sorry 
on June 20. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Why did I read that twice? I was wondering why it didn't. <laughs> okay. This is the real continuous. Okay. So he didn't mention the 22 rifle when interviewed because he had been owed money by the rifle's original owner and he felt that he should have a claim over the 22 rifle that Brenner asked him to store to cover the debt. He explained to us that the rifle had been left in a trailer on the property where Brenner had been living prior to Brenner living there by a person who owed DH money. Brenner, upon moving into the trailer, had taken possession of it. D.H. knew that Brenner wasn't allowed to have firearms because of his criminal history. D.H. turned over to the FBI the 22 rifle and the case that Brenner had personally handed to him and asked him to store. Or to store the rifle. Or wait, wow, well, asked him to store. Okay. The rifle was loaded with five rounds of 22 caliber ammunition. The 22 caliber rifle... 22 caliber rifle is a Winchester model 69 22s so whatever on the rifle it says made in New Haven Connecticut maybe I don't know yeah New Haven I think that no serial number was located on June 21st another search warrant was conducted at a trailer where Brenner was currently living during this warrant they seized a muzzle loader on one box of 45 lead round ball ammunition, one box of spear lead ball, one box of federal lead ball, ignition caps, four pounds of hornady black powder, and speed loads and booked into evidence. On May 21st, James Renner was sentenced to 33 months in prison for a conviction of a of felon in possession of a firearm. Renner also has additional felony convictions on his criminal uh, history. So look, right there they have almost three years Oh, no, that's 2012. Never mind. I was thinking that you said that now. They don't even do the preliminary hearing. Sorry. I had a little silly moment. Okay. So that will, they'll be able to tell they're doing the preliminary. She said what? It starts Friday for maybe the preliminary. And then they'll, usually the preliminary it determines if there's enough evidence to go to trial, right? And then that'll be for this case. So that'll all take long as long as he doesn't get a bond. You know, they'll have them in there in custody until they could build a case against them if they have have one for the Dylan's disappearance. So if they find a body, if Dylan is indeed gone and they find a body, that, I mean, that might narrow it down because they could see, let's say, if he was shot, like, was he shot with one of those guns? But I guess we don't even know. I mean, if he is gone, he might not even have been shot. He could have been, they could have done it a different way. I don't know. Okay, so that's that though. So, and then let me just show you the picture one more time um, of supposedly the real, the real um, James Brenner. And it just doesn't look like it's those other. So it looks like Duty Ron was right, which I'm happy because I was so confused. Like, it's like, wait a minute, why did he say that so like confidently if he didn't know for sure? And that just was confusing me. But now it makes sense because I, I'm pretty sure that Jess has probably the right guy. And it's because he was right, you know? But, like, I don't blame Gloria Dillon. Like, she said she couldn't. She thought it looked like him. But she did say she saw him from behind and then he turned. So maybe, she, you know, she was too far away or something. I don't know. Or maybe his the bottom half was blocked and he couldn't tell. She couldn't tell, like. It, but it's mainly the face that is actually more telling because he, his face is a lot here is a lot thinner than this, and that's really what's what stuck out when I first saw it. I'm like, oh my god, that can't be him. Look how he looks a lot older in this too. Like at least from that picture. But hopefully there'll be a you know a better picture that comes out that we could see. Hopefully the mug shot. A lot of cases they'll um you know, upload the mugshot, but maybe because they haven't been, if he was being charged with the disappearance, then they probably would by now if they, you know, he already had that charge, but because it's just these other charges, they might not release it. I don't know why we can't find it, but so that's that guys. What do you guys think? Um, I don't think I really have anything else. I know I have all these files or records. There's you know, things so scattered in my lives that I wanted to like do pre-recorded to have them like all like, this will be Scott's, this will be this, and you know, go through them all and have them so like organized and uh, separate and like do pre-recorded. But I'm like, you know what? I don't know. They're, they are all in there somewhere in my lives. I, maybe I'll try to 
do the timestamps on the ones that I haven't done. And, or maybe if you guys are interested in it, if I do them all separately, like write, read the record separately. I don't know. I guess we'll just see how, how everything goes with this. Cause there's enough to keep me busy. There's other cases I wanted to cover. I wanted to cover the, that July 4th shooting. I wanted to cover the, there's a couple other ones, but so we'll see. Um, yeah, no, I haven't seen it, Graham. I think you should stay online. Wait, what do you mean, Mez? Stay online, stay online. Like, oh, you mean just stay and do a live? I don't have anything else to... You know what I could do is I could just end it and, like, do the... Um, I would have to end it, though, and do a, do a live on, like, the, the 4th of July shooter. I'm so mad, though. Okay, so that night, 4th of July, I went to bed early. Diana... I didn't even know that happened. Diana Wright, one of my mods, she um, messaged me and she's like, grab this video. It's um, it's of the shooter, you know, from today. I didn't even know that happened yet. She's like, it's of the shooter of today. And um, there, it's probably going to be taken down soon. So normally I download my videos, right? So I was like, but I was laying in bed and Zeke was kind of being an ENC and I kind of wasn't feeling that good. I'm like, I don't want to get up. Cause I, I have the downloader on my uh, computer. I'm like, man, I don't want to get up. And then Zeke jumps down and, and then I have trouble getting him back up and to stay with me. So it's like, I'll just screen record it, you know? So I'll have it in case if they take it down. So it's 18 minutes long. I freaking screen record it. Think I have it freaking next day, go to get it, to transfer it, to email it. So I could have, you know, put it on my computer and only one minute of it somehow took <laughs> it's like, and they took it down. They took the video down, but there's this weird 18 minute video that that shooter did. That's very interesting. But the thing is though, I would have been nervous because they took it down for YouTube uh, policy violations. So, but what I could still have done is said for like inciting violence or something. It was, it, no, it wasn't even because you almost have to read them in between the lines. And the only reason you could possibly get violence out of it is because you know what happened after you know that he did that. But if that was just a video that was of a random there, I mean, I don't understand how they could say that. But anyway, I probably would have seen that it was taken down and then just took like chunks of it because there was like, you know, chunks where he's just like walking in his neighborhood with the camera facing him. I would have liked to got that. There's a, there's another one that's kind of creepy. He's holding like a drone and he's holding it. And then he goes like that. And then he lets it like fly away from him. And you just see like him is like going back and it's just kind of creepy knowing what we know. So I would have taken some of those little clips, but it didn't take guys. Um, so that's that, but Have you seen a new statement from Bach Hill to make me feel that I think Dylan is close? No, I didn't. Send me it. You know what? I did get an email from um, Brandy. I should sh share what you sent me, huh? I just looked at it right before I went live. Hold on a second. Let me see if this. Let's see. Hold on. Let me find it. Uh, wait a minute. Where did it go? Okay, not that. Hold on. Where did that go? It was just there. Oh, uh, Mark, you try to send me something and the picture didn't come through. Can you send it to me again? And if you're not in chat, I'll email you back because it's saying it's supposed to be a picture of the trailer, but there's nothing, nothing got attached. Sometimes that happens. Okay, so let me just send, let's just share this real quick. Hold on. Let me, um, so I don't share the email information. Let me save this image and then I'll share it and see what people think. So what is this, Brandy? This is like a, um, how did you get this? Man, let me, I got, I, I haven't really got a chance to really look at this, but maybe we could try to figure out this together. Hold on. Wait, I didn't get it all yet. Hold on. So there's like, what, five of them it looks like. Okay. Give me one minute. It looks like. You said, here, I'll show you. See if, hold on. I'm trying to save them all. I got one more. Are these, some of these might be saved twice because I didn't know which ones I already had saved. Okay. So the message says, 
uh, wondering if they kept landing their 30 minute intervals is because airspace they kept landing. So what is this like the search and rescue or something here? Let me share, see what you guys think. Thanks, Brandy. Um, have you guys seen these? Hold on. So it's Wendover, Utah. So you, is this about the Dylan Rounds case, though? Is that what, like, the search and rescue or something? You're saying helicopters are landing? Okay, let's see. I'm not sure how to make this out. Like, how, I mean, I see the lines, but where where are these lines, like, who drew these lines and what, what are they seeing? I'm not, <laughs> besides the lines, I don't, I mean, I see this. So I don't know. First scene, Wendover, last scene, Wendover, 203 to 231. Make this, I mean, whatever you guys can make out of it. I don't know why I'm a little bit, I need more like a backstory of this. 328, Wendover, 353. Because other than this green, like the, the writing over top of it, there's just, there's nothing there to like, do you see what I'm saying? So who wrote this and how do you know what, I mean, what does that even mean to you? It's just like, it looks like it's just written over a random picture of the satellite image. You see, that's why I'm having trouble understanding it. So 426. There's the helicopter. Okay, I see the green helicopter looking thing, but that's the only one that I see that on. The other ones didn't even have it. I, I mean, I saw the planes in the other one. So, I don't know. Is Brandy in here? Yeah, but I understand it's the Trek. Oh, because, okay. Is it because the green is written over something, like the original track? Because who wrote the green is what I'm trying to say. Wouldn't it be like look different if it was like came in from like an official source? It looks like somebody just scribbled over it. That's or like it should look like something like this. But look, like this doesn't look like official or anything. It just looks like somebody scribbled. So I'm just wondering, like, who, who, how do we know that's the track of the plane? Am I making sense? Some people are going to probably think I'm sounding stupid, but I mean, I'm. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to ask. Now I see this one right here. But like that, I don't get. And then I see the helicopter in that one. But yeah. But you're right. That's what it's supposed to be. Because she said, I'm just trying to. I always have to know like how it got put together. Like what does it all mean exactly? How did. But yeah, so if, that, if they're really indeed like landing and stuff in Utah around that area, they probably they probably are searching. So I don't know if that means they found anything, but that's that, guys. So thanks, Brandy. See, this makes sense. So you could see the little helicopter right there. So, and then it even tells you the information. So I, I get how that came together, this one. All right, guys. Well, that's that. Um, no, I get it, but like, it doesn't look official. Like <laughs> these ones, like, who did it though? It's so sloppy. I mean, that looks like something I would just do over top of it. But like for something like an official thing of like the helicopter flight and like the tracking, why would it look like that? Do you see what I'm saying? But maybe I'm missing something. Um, hey, Ka Karina. Okay, thanks. Let's do that real quick. And then, let's see, statements. That's why I do love coming on live, though. Then, like, I, I have this one thing I wanted to share, and then it ends up turning into a lot of stuff that you guys all get for me. Like, check this out. Check that out. So I'm always learning so much. I'm getting sent so much stuff, guys. Thank you. Because it takes time, so it's like, you guys are helping out. Getting some. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's read this, guys. Thank you for sending that Amber Riot not to her. <laughs> when I say every time I say that, I want to laugh when I say your name. Okay. The law enforcement investigation into the disappearance of Dylan Rounds is ongoing. 
Here, I'll make it a little bigger. Law enforcement continues to be in the Lucent area. At this time, there are no organized searches planned for members of the public to participate in that are supported or authorized by law enforcement. We are asking the public to not search the area as it has the potential to compromise the investigation. We are working with the Rounds family and they have asked us to share the following statement. Okay, let's see. Ashley, the only thing is, is like, Ashley, I would, but I don't really have any more information to share and I don't just want to ramble on. That's the only thing. Okay, let me read this and we'll chat for a minute. Okay, so here's the following statement from the Rounds family, basically. Okay, so as a family, we are not asking for or requesting any additional public searches for Dylan Rounds at this time. We request that everyone allow law enforcement to continue their organized investigation without any hindrance or interference in order to avoid jeopardizing the investigation. We thank everyone for their continued support in finding Dylan. Cool. Well, thank you for sharing that. Um, okay. They all say you, Karina the Dreamer. Oh, I love your name, Karina the Dreamer. That just sounds so cool. <laughs> love it like there's some names that are just like fun to say you know that just roll off your tongue nice i like that um let me see if there's anything new in here let me put oh i did put it up um hold on if there's anything new in any of the groups hold on let me see the, the official one i always keep going back to the official one and it seems like there's i'm like it's the same thing there's never anything added am i missing something every time it looks the same I'm like always waiting for like, like for instance, I figured they would have the documents up for um, James, you know, the new documents. I thought, oh, they'll probably have it up at the group, but they don't. It's fine though. I mean, I guess it's not there. I do think law enforcement's doing a good job. I think they're going to find him. I really do. You know? It's not going to be like a the summer one, the summer wells case. I think, I think we're close, guys. I really do. Um, oh, thanks, Cheryl. Well, thank you, guys. Thanks, uh, Mods, Ohio Italian Lady, Ashley, and Maz for short notice for coming. Um, what other mods am I missing? Glory Dylan, you have Joel. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. You're good though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm back. I came back on just to, I can't, oh, the courts are closed. So I couldn't get a hold of any. So I just figured I would, I used, uh, you know, crime time. And then I read uh, crime time with Jess documents. And then I read the um, East Idaho. So, and then I saw that crime time with Jess added that picture of James Brenner. So I wanted to put that up for you, Dylan, because I don't think it is the guy in the, um, what is that? In the, the mugshot that I have. It doesn't look like him to me. So yes, I know I'm loving it, not loving it, but it's like, it feels good that they're actually, you feel like they're actually, you know, doing it. They're doing their job and they're going to, there's going to be justice. I feel like for Dylan, and unlike summer, I don't, I really don't see that. I feel like that there may never be any arrest when it comes to the summer Wells case. Like for her disappearance. I hope I'm wrong, but man, it's just not, it's not looking good for that case. But, um, oh yeah, they definitely do. That's what I'm saying. I think they definitely know more and I think they're on it. You know, they think they got, they got a lot of stuff that they know and they're just building the case. They got like, a you know, the, the top suspects in custody already for other charges so i just think they're on it now they're just building it up in my opinion um well gloria Dillon, let's see here look look at the um i'll let you see what you think let me put up the the uh, picture that crime time with jess had up and the only problem is is it's not head on like it's just the back but the face like he looks See, he looks a lot older than, hold on, let me put the other picture up. Of the, let me actually put the original like mugshot that's not cropped by the other one. Hold on, let me find it. Give me one minute, girl, and Dylan. And it's no big deal. I mean, you never said for sure. You know, you said it, 
looks like I could see how it it does, but hold on, let me where's the other one at? I just like to have, you know, if I find something wrong with what I said, I like to hurry up and correct it as quick as possible because that's like an OCD of mine. It bothers me. So I had to come on. I was like, I can't let that stand that last live where I was showing it and basically almost saying, yep, this is him. Or I think it's him. All right. There we go. Okay. These are side by sides here. So I just, I mean, this possibly, it possibly could, but I think that hell, the one with the heavy D, no, I think definitely, definitely not him. This, I don't think either, but I mean, there's a small chance maybe, but I, his face just looks, unless, wait a minute, guys, wait a minute. What if this is an old, this mugshot is an old picture? Maybe. Because this isn't a new mug shot, so this probably is an old mug shot. Just like that um, Robert Avilas, his, the mug shot we had of his was an old one. I think from 2007, that original one going around. And you could tell he's a lot younger. He could have been a little bit heavier back then and younger. Because that's what I said in this, this one right here, he looks um, older. And he, he could have thinned out a little bit. So yeah, you know what? That could actually be him. If you look at it, like, what if this is like 10 years ago? I mean, because he's had a uh, uh, history, you know, criminal history for since 86. He when that one charge. I mean, so he's been he has other mug shots. So, yeah, never mind. I, can't, I don't think I could. Say for sure that this isn't an old mug shot of his. What do you guys think? Oh, he has it? But so this isn't, is this him on the right? Because this is the one crime time we just said is him. This is not him? Well, I'm just saying he just looks a little bit different. I think he looks older in this. Like his face looks like it's older. But no, you know, that could be him. It could. You don't think, though, that this guy looks heavier than this guy, though? At least his face looks rounder. Let me see what you're saying. Looks like the... Yeah, but then what's this picture? Because this he's definitely older in this one. So this has to be before. Maybe he gained his weight back again then. Maybe this is like a couple years old and he got heavier after this. I don't know. But I'm glad I did give it another look. Because why wasn't I thinking, duh, this isn't current. And who knows if this is, but this isn't definitely not current. I knew that because they don't have, I knew this wasn't his new mugshot or anything. So, huh? Well, I really don't think that helicopter guy though. I'm all, I can't, I cannot see that being him, but maybe, maybe this is, let's just do a maybe guys and go from there, I guess. Um, Yeah, but really, I don't think you could. Oh, let's see a truck. How tall would? No, because that's about where my. I feel like that's where my chest would come on a truck. I'm five two. I think that looks. That could be about right. I mean, I can't say for sure, but I don't. I think that that could be. He could be five one right there. Because like, if I stand. By like a truck like that, I would say that's about where it would come. I mean, it would be close to where it would come, but it's a little bit hard to tell because the way the angle, but, and then, you know, he's not that much taller than the horse. I think he could be 5'1". I don't think we could tell for sure by that. Oh, cool. Look, I could keep it up so the chat's up on screen. <laughs> um... Yeah, so maybe, who knows? Let's just leave it at, we. I mean, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> I, I don't think we, anybody could say for sure. But see, Jess, if J I want to ask her, I told her to look at mine. Hopefully she sees my comment because I want to ask her, it seems like maybe she knows who he is. Like she's seen him too. 
So I just want to ask her, I mean, have you seen him? Do you know for sure? Have you seen him up close? Or somebody? Maybe I should just suck it up and and just message Candace. I just don't know if, you know, how much she holds against me with the whole gym thing. But, like, if she would answer, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully. And I don't think she'd be that tight. But I think it would be all right. You know, we don't know. We... We learn as we go. I didn't know what was going to come about with everything. And I still don't know what's going to come about. But anyway. Um, wait, what do you mean? Retro. <laughs> wait, are you? Hold on. Let me do this. Anyway, I think I should end though because I feel bad. Just and no, it is toy. That's why we, we, we found that. Um, <laughs> somebody sent this document. Brand and it was you, right, Brandy? When we found that out, we I, like, I remember it was on a live. And I'm just like what that's why i was just i just got done saying that there could there's probably another explanation for the seat being pushed up because i'm like not many guys if this is a guy of all not many guys would be uh, sure that is really short for a guy right and i was just like they're, they're probably but there are still could be a different explanation even if you know but there you know this maybe um he was looking for money under the truck. He moved the seat or he's grabbing a trash or something fell out of his pocket or he was getting something. Or maybe even Dylan was grabbing trash, pulled up the seat, never drove the truck since then. You know what I'm saying? And then it was just still pulled up because nobody got back in it to move it back. So there it definitely is other explanations. But um, just the fact when we found out he was 5'1", when we're all like have that in the back of our head that maybe it's a short person, it was just like, whoa. Um, but then what how do we know there's not even a girl involved too? I mean, you just never know. You never know. I mean, you really, sometimes these cases really surprise you, but, uh, <laughs> retro. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Joe baby, leprechaun autism without limits. You're bad. <laughs> You're bad. I don't know. I know. Definitely. I've always wondered because five miles, like, wonder if he keeps, I don't know, how would that work? Maybe he keeps um something in the, well, no, a seed truck. Never mind. Because I always wondered, like, does he keep some kind of like four wheeler, motorcycle, bike or something for, so when he puts his seed truck away that he doesn't have to walk five miles or does he usually call Jim? And Jim gives them a ride back. Because remember, Jim, Jim is squatting on that land. But the owner knows. I mean, we, we see that the owner knows. He lives out of state. The story is that J Dylan has to call Jim whenever he wants to put his sea truck in the shed, right? Jim has to let him in through the fence or some fence or something. And I saw, a, a, I think, the picture of the fence. I have to find it. Somebody sent me or I found it somewhere or I think it's the fence. So really, I don't. I don't know what Jim would have to do, but he's supposed, Dylan's supposed to call uh, Jim, tell him he's, you know, needs to put the uh, truck away. And then uh, Jim lets him, right? Well, supposedly they said that Dylan didn't really like that, having to do that. So he took down the fence. Not sure what that's all about, but there was some kind of issue. Remember, he called Jim that day, left a voicemail. I guess the cops have that, law enforcement have that like locked up where they won't let anybody listen to it now or something. So we don't know what was said, but maybe there's some information on that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, that was my point. Do you think, like, maybe normally, like, when he does that, Jim gives him a ride back? Since Jim knows, he has to let him in. I can't see him walking five miles, especially if it was supposed to rain that day. That was the reason he was going to put the truck in the shed, because it was going to rain that day. So he wasn't going to, you know, make sure he had a ride back. You know, maybe Jim was supposed to give him right back. And maybe he never made it back to the place because Jim took him somewhere else. You know? So maybe nobody even ever used the truck. But then the, it being a four-wheel drive, I know that is weird because the mom said that it, everybody knew. I mean, it didn't work. The four-wheel drive didn't work. So why was it in four-wheel drive? So that part's weird. But Kurt did say in the interview that we listened to earlier that it was Dylan that power wash the truck it wasn't you know some the the uh perpetrator or whatever you call him the person that 
took Dylan. It was Dylan that, that power washed it. That's what he said because he missed. He said something. Remember, he said something like he missed under the wheel well or whatever. And Kurt said something and, and Dylan said, oh, it'll just fall off or something. So that's in. Um, I think that one is in the interview that, with Donna that I, I did a live earlier. So that would have been the first part of the video with Donna, I think, is when they talk about that. So just interesting things going on. So I just wonder if how he always got back because yeah, he could have take a three wheeler or whatever, but then how does he get that back there for the next time? Right. I guess, you know, on an off time, he could put it in his truck, bring it back, drive back. And then next time he does a C truck, he could do the same thing. Maybe he does something like that. Does he still have his three wheeler though? Remember somebody said like he wrecked it or something. And in the motorcycle, Kurt says, I don't think he has that anymore. Or he did have, or he does have it, but he doesn't ride it that much. She just asked him. I know he said he doesn't really ride it that much, right? I think he still has it though. Gosh, so much stuff though. I get you got to remember with this keys. Um, like all, I feel like because I'm going through all these guys' record, like different guys' records, that it's just like. I have so many different like pieces of information, so many different files from all the different people in their records. And I don't know. Uh, all right. I think I am going to go though. Oh, Adelina, what's up? Yeah. Well, he does. He left the shed. Well, he brings the sea truck, leaves it there in the shed, and then he needs to get a ride back. That's the thing. Um, all right. I'm already going on an hour. I wanted this to be like 20 minutes, go over the records and out. And <laughs> I'm already almost going. On. Wow. An hour could pass so fast. Hey, beautiful mess. But I better go. Cause I think I want to try to get a couple recorded videos down of, um, of a different case. There's one I wanted to do as an Amber. I don't know. There's just some things I wanted to get done because this case is occupied my whole time, but I want to, give some other things some attention to. So I think I might just go and work on it. Um, it's hard to let you guys go though, because I feel like I'll, I'll keep learning things because there's always somebody that pops in here or tells me something that I didn't know before. It always just adds another piece to the puzzle and it's hard to leave you guys here. Plus I, you know, cause you guys are fun to talk to um, over an hour to dig and bury. Yeah. Cause I think there's possibly more than one person involved. Um, but this case has a lot of attention. Go start the case that needs attention. Yeah. Well, I definitely want to do one of the, the 4th of July. That shooting is just, I wish I had that video, guys. It was so weird. I had so many thoughts about it. Like, because obviously he put it together. It was pretty well put in the I mean, it was weird. But... You could tell he took time. Now I'm talking about the 4th of July uh, shooter. You could tell he took time to put put it together in the editing and stuff. So it wasn't like, like it was pretty well put together. It was really different. Um, but he's a rapper. His music sucks, though. <laughs> At least the songs that I listen to. And supposedly there's this article and it's saying how like he has like a million views on one of them. He's this rapper. And like, so I thought, man, there has to be like maybe one good song or at least good lyrics or something. I just, no, I didn't even, I thought it was almost a joke. If I would have listened to it not knowing, I'd be like, oh, this is just a joke. Somebody's just messing with me. I don't know. Maybe I'm too critical on music, but, oof. Um. Oh, yay, Autumn Renee, thank you. Oh, thanks. Wait, you talking about the music, OG Lone Ranger? You heard it too. And like, so I made sure I picked the ones where, because the article um, would mention some of the, you know, big hits that he did. I think it mentioned like three songs, like this one's a good one. This one, he did this. So those are the ones I was like, okay, let me make sure I listen to the ones that are supposedly good. Nope. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I'll listen to the ones that aren't. Maybe those ones. <laughs> no. I was like, what? What is going on? Um, I don't know. 
Uh, but it's interesting that guy they caught him and there was a um a person that was just driving that caught it all on camera when they they went up to the car got him out you know and came up with his hands up and slammed on the ground and stuff she got it so it was uh interesting and then like i said that video was really creepy knowing what we know but if i didn't know like if it was just some random thing i ran across i don't know what i would have thought of it the video of the shooter 18 minutes it just oh god i wish i would have got it guys i'm really mad about that i regretted that that morning um hey kathy m yeah that's true tina brown well at least this gives me a chance to chat with you guys for a minute hey toy they already had to bury yeah no they had like weeks to do it though really I mean, if you think about it, though, before law enforcement got involved and days before any, like, friends or family started looking. So they had, like, a lot of time, I feel like. Enough time to. Oh, thanks, Retro. Thanks, Autism Without Limits. I appreciate you always being here and uh, have a seat in the chat. I'm assuming it wasn't planted yet. Oh, that's true, Deborah Ann. That's a good point. A hey, beautiful mess. Let's see. There's a voicemail that was left from his last ping and the police had it. Yep, that's what we were just talking about. That's the one that was supposedly uh, that interview when we were listening to earlier that yeah, they won't how did you yeah, that they won't release it to the public. Which I don't blame them, like I said. That's why I think you know they're gonna get to it because they're doing it right, the law enforcement. Oh, thank you. I was wondering, well, what did Kurt say about the motorcycle? I remember it just seemed like he was talking about how, like, Dylan, it really wasn't a motorcycle. I mean, he just wasn't having luck with it. So just tell me real quick before I end it. What is what were they talking about when I think it came from because I took notes and I think the notes that I'm talking about came from Donna. But she was talking to Kurt, so I'm sure it, the information came from Kurt. But the Dylan just was getting frustrated with having to call Jim to do that, whether maybe he just didn't like him or they had an all, you know, just tension or friction. So he just took down the fence himself. Is there any truth to that? And if there is, then why would he have had to call him that day? You know what I'm saying? If he took it down himself and there was no gate, or is that just made up was that is there any truth to it does anybody know has anybody heard any details about that um oh that's what cdt oh okay we'll go out with this yes no we don't know that was one of the main points i did this because look this came out true crime would just said that this is i know a lot of you guys that have been here saw heard this twice already but there's some new people so let me just show her real quick and then i think i better end it guys I think there's somebody else live too. It somebody said so. I don't want to take away from theirs if I'm just sitting here blabbing. Um, okay, so she said that this is Jim, right? So that's what we were trying to figure out. CDT, like, look, hold on, let me bring up the other one. Okay. So I don't think it looks like him, but then we were starting to say, I was starting to say, well, this obviously was an old mugshot, right? So possibly maybe it is, and maybe his face kind of thinned out. I mean, and he looks older in this, right? So maybe, maybe, you know, this is from 10 years ago, or maybe this is, you know, from a while ago, and maybe it is him. But I don't think that the helicopter person is him. I call him helicopter. Um, the guy that was on the heavy D video. Uh, but, and I don't know, what do you think, CDT? I originally got on here and said, no, but I was, that was wrong. Obviously it's not him. And then the more I'm looking into it, now I'm coming to the conclusion, possibly old picture right here, but maybe it's not. What do you think? That's, yeah. So that's a conclusion. I am going to go though, guys, because I think there is somebody else live and I, I don't really have anything else new to talk about. Um, but I will definitely see you guys. Hopefully this week. I want to get that Christopher Lloyd and Black Dove maybe ha have an open panel with them. 
And then for sure this weekend, I think I might have something um, kind of uh, good for you guys. <laughs> I'm hoping. Um, oh, I don't even know Summer Wells funding. What's what do you mean? Oh, okay. You're not. See, that's what I was trying to ask. Okay, you don't think maybe that's not him, Gloria and Dylan? Are you still in here? Because you're. Are you friends with um? True crime with Jess, right? Because you, afterwards, I found out you were on her channel too. So, are you like friends with her? Would she know for sure if that's him? Because that's where I got it from. She did a community post. I just figured, oh, well, she must know if she's wording it like that, that this is him. And like, she does seem to have like connections with some of the locals. So, I'm thinking maybe she know, knows what he looks like. But you're right. Maybe she. Maybe that's not him. I don't know. All I know is Gloria Dell and she, you stand it firm. Like you're saying, no, he's heavier now. She said she saw him in court and she's still saying, no, he's heavier now. So she's still saying she thinks that that guy on the left, the orange is him. Cause she came in chat a little bit ago. I don't know if she's still here, but she said, no, he's definitely, he's heavier than that horse picture. But we don't even know if that horse picture, that could be old. Maybe he gained weight. So I don't know, CDT. Maybe I try to clear up with this live, but I think I just confused people more. I thought it was going to like clear it up. And now I feel like we're way more confused on who, <laughs> what Jim Brennan's looks like than before I started the live. My whole purpose was to, <laughs> to clear it up. I'm sorry. I don't know. I just got to laugh. I don't know. I, Gloria Dillon, are you here? Because maybe she'll have an answer if Jess knows the the locals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, this is, I don't know. I'm just like in a goofy mood where it's just, oh. Anyway, um, no, you're fine. I'm about to end it. I have nothing else to go. People, everybody seems to be leaving anyway because I, I've been talking about leaving the whole time. I think there's another live, they said. So I think people are over there. Which is fine because this is just going to confuse people. <laughs> Let me think here. <sighs> Why? As much as he's been... I know. Yeah, she did say she she says from what she saw yesterday in court that she thinks he looks more heavy. He looks more like the orange shirt guy. I don't know, but I wonder. I'm trying to think here. If. I just wanted to see if she how close she is with the, the just that just. Is she, uh, oh man, I'm going to email her later and see. Uh, well, this was going to say as much as <laughs> Jim's been in and out, there should be like multiple mug shots. Why is it? Why am I having trouble finding his mug shots? It's the only one, and we don't even know for sure. Yeah, here, I'll show you the screenshot I have for that. Because I had a side-by-side -side here. Um, hold on, let me get it up. Where did I... Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is the um, screenshot I have of this. Of them two. Because oh, we, we were trying to compare... Um, I don't think this guy is him, to be honest. Even if this guy was him, I don't think this is. I, it's like, I wish this was just a little clearer. I mean, possibly. But yeah, that's this guy. And then we even went as far as like to look at hats. But yeah, like I said, nobody, well, we still don't know. But this guy for sure cannot be that guy, that horse guy. I don't think. I mean, his face is way too and he's like, ah, just doesn't seem like that could be the horse guy. This one for sure, I feel. Unless if it is, we had to, uh, the weight difference is, uh. Wait, which one, Karina? The one in the horses, you're saying? Or...
All right. Um, I'm gonna go both. Okay. Well, well, since I don't know for sure, I mean, I can't say it, but I, you know, I just say for sure. But that's why I wanted to show you guys. So it's still a mystery, kind of in a way. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go, guys. Bye, everybody. Hopefully, I'll I'll see you in a couple days. Maybe tomorrow. What is today? Wait, today is what? Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday. Oh, shoot. My mom asked me if I'm taking Zeke to bed. All right, I'm going to go. Bye, guys.